Good morning, truckers. I'm Josh Jones. Seven new victims were found last night in the Grayson Cemetery. The newest slings of the Clintonville Slasher. Where? Wait. Hold on. It's just in. Uh, we have a video, apparently, of the Clintonville Slasher. But um, I must warn you, viewer discretion is advised. It looks like we found his last victim. In the shadows of this small town. <laughs> you. You are my latest victim. I am the Clint Bell Slasher! Hello, everybody, welcome back to the Clint Bell Slasher. I am your host, Search Frank Wilkes. It's Saturday. Unfortunately, it's a rainy piece of shit here in Wisconsin. Um, so today, uh, and I have to work all weekend, which really sucks. So today, I'm going to be talking about a film that I saw the other day on Hulu called Trick. It was released back in 2019, and the director's name is Patrick Lusser. Not murderer's name. But it has Omar Epps, and it has cameos from Jamie Kennedy and Tom Atkins, which makes that really, really awesome. Um, so the movie takes place in 2015, but it was released in 2019. And a little rundown of the film is that um, there's the, the very first opening scene is where it says trick, and it's like the very definition of the word trick. Um, so it kind of gives you what the, the dictionary's description of the word trick is. So it opens up, and these kids are playing like spin the bottle, but it's not a bottle, they're spinning a knife. And they, they go off, and, like, this girl spins on this on this one kid that they call Patrick. And they call him Trick. And he has this double-sided pumpkin mask, which looks really awesome. So, right away, I'm intrigued. Jumping into it, I'm right away, I'm intrigued, I'm getting it, I like it, it's, it sounds pretty cool. And then all of a sudden, it turns into, like, this slasher fest. And it's, like, over-the-top, insane kills. But I was so confused on the direction of this film... Because it starts off as trick, like it's supposed to not be true. Uh, so I was having a really hard time following this. Uh, at, at first, at first. So it gets a little bit better. Uh, so the, the, the killer gets away and he's tormenting Mike uh, Omar Epps' character, who is named Mike Denver, a detective. Hold on, I'm out of stuff, sorry. So anyway... This guy's name is, um, Lomar Epps character's name is Mike Dever. He's, he's being tormented by this killer, you know, comes back year after year and just like massacres everybody and he can't catch this person and it's just really fucked up. So I'm going to have to give this movie, I thought it was okay. I thought it was, I didn't think it was the worst horror movie I ever saw, but I also didn't think it was the best. Mm, would I recommend it to anybody else? Probably. I would probably recommend it to check it out, at least so you can see what it's like. Maybe you like it. I, however, probably won't ever see it again. But I really did like Tom Atkins. Tom Atkins is fucking rocks and everything, so he was awesome in this. But I really think that was your saving grace of this film. Um, the acting in it, the acting in it was really cool. The shots were awesome, and the kill scenes were fucking over the top. So but it's just it just had no direction. Like, you couldn't follow it. It was really hard to follow. So it's streaming on Hulu right now. If you have not seen it, I suggest it. Check it out. Tell me what you think. If you have seen it, please leave a comment. If you're new to the channel, please like and subscribe. Tell your friends. Tell your mom. Happy fucking Saturday. Stay fucking horror. And I'll see you next time.